Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are blurring the edges in Clip Studio Paint. So I have this piece here where I think it would add a bit of depth to have the edges being blurry. So to achieve this effect we could just go into filter and then choose a Gaussian blur. But the thing is that would only apply to the layer that we are on and this piece here as we can see has a lot of layers and I'm not going to go over every single piece. And also that would only achieve blurring the entire layer and not just the edges like we want. So what we need to do first is to go to layer and then we choose this one, merge visible to new layer. And so by pressing that, every layer that is now visible, you can see that by the eye, will now be merged into one layer. So now we have a new layer on top here. We can show you how that works. We can hide this layer or that folder of layers. And then if I then hide that one, you can see that there is a new layer here that is a result of all visible layers underneath. So what we are going to do now is that we are going up to filter. We are going to choose blur. I like to use a Gaussian blur, but you can use whatever you want. The preview is on, but the file is too big for it to actually render it real time. So I just pick a random number and we're going to go with that. And there we have it. So now this whole layer up here is blurry, but this is not the effect that we want. We just want the edges to be blurry. So what we do now is that we go into gradient and we find the gradient that is called gradient erase. We choose if we want a circle, a straight line or an ellipse. And I want to use a circle and I just choose where I want it on the piece and I drag it out to around here. And you can see now that we have erased the middle of that layer here, but it's a bit too blurry to be honest. I don't want that much blur here. So what we can do then is just go on opacity and slide it down or up, whatever you want. We can even just control C and do the whole thing over if that is what you need to do and there you have it thank you so much for joining me today and i hope you stay safe